10 Imaginary Dinosaurs from My Jurassic Box Tyranneratops Tyranneratops, commonly referred to as the tippy-toes ballerina, earned its name because of its silent and graceful walk. This dinosaur possessed a remarkable talent for stealth and finesse. Its preferred prey was the long-ears bunny, a creature that would only emerge from hibernation during the autumn season. Ceratorosaurus This dinosaur, you're not going to believe, actually ate trees. Ceratosaurus was a small dinosaur measuring 1 meter or 3 feet long, and it is believed to be a rare kind of species. Scientists are still figuring out if it is related to the termites of our days. Pachycephatorus The head of the Pachycephatorus, known as a dome, was a unique feature that was incredibly thick and heavily built. The dome-shaped head worked like a high-tech radar system. It could detect even the tiniest movements of its prey from far away. Due to this, its tail became heavy in order to compensate for balance, making the dinosaur heavy and rarely ran. Instead, it adopted a passive hunting strategy, patiently waiting for prey to come to it, which occurred quite rarely. As a result, the majority of its diet consisted of grass and leaves. Tricetacus Tricetacus is known as the dinosaur that despised water. It is believed to be the dinosaur that never drank water. The only water that enters its body is through small cracks in its head crests when it rains. As Tricetacus ages, the cracks in its head crests tend to expand, causing problems with excessive hydration. Parasogosaurus Parasogosaurus was believed to be blind. Instead of eyes, it possessed a unique sensory system. What was initially thought to be its eyes were actually part of a complex sensory apparatus consisting of fins on its back and a crest on its head. These specialized structures allowed Parasogosaurus to perceive and interpret sound waves, essentially granting it the ability to see its surroundings through sound. This adaptation enabled Parasogosaurus to navigate and interact with its environment in a remarkable and distinct way. Iguanosaurus One of the most beneficial dinosaurs for the ecosystem is the Iguanosaurus. It was a desert dinosaur that believed the jungle was following him wherever he went. Its main diet consisted of seeds, which it cleverly hid in the ground. However, due to its forgetfulness in remembering where it buried the seeds, they would often sprout and grow into trees. In this way, the Iguanosaurus unintentionally became a tree planter, contributing to the flourishing of vegetation in its environment. Brachlosaurus also known by its scientific name, myotonic dinosaur, Brachlosaurus is the only known species of dinosaur to have a peculiar reaction to a jump scare, causing it to stiffen and fall. Any loud noise or sudden movement would trigger this unfortunate response in Brachlosaurus, making it an easy prey for Altosaurus, another dinosaur species that coexisted in the same environment. Altosaurus a small and fast dinosaur that had an adaptation that caused it to make involuntary loud sounds. It inhabited the same area as the Brachlosaurus, which became an easy prey due to its freeze response to loud noises or sudden movements. Altosaurus took advantage of its agility and the vulnerable state of the Brachlosaurus, seizing the opportunity to secure multiple meals at once without the need for a chase. This advantage allowed the noise-making dinosaur to efficiently hunt with no effort. Tyranneralophus Tyranneralophus is a special kind of dinosaur that has the ability to regrow its front legs, which some people mistakenly call them hands. It had a strange habit of biting and eating its own front legs while eating its prey. Because of this, most of the Tyranneralophus dinosaurs didn't have fully grown hands. Usually, their front legs would be the same size as their back legs. 
What's interesting is that even though they were supposed to walk on all fours, these dinosaurs learned to walk on two legs and use their front legs for eating, like hands. Velocilosaurus This is the first dinosaur to be discovered. At that time, it wasn't understood what it was, so they named it the Big Plot after the person that discovered Robert Plot. As science progressed, it was realized that it was some kind of large chicken or turkey, and the official name was changed to Chicken Little. After a couple of years, with the discovery of more specimens in the Gobi Desert, it was established that it was a dinosaur, and not a big mean chicken, and the name Velocilosaurus was given. And remember, these are my imaginary dinosaurs. <laughs>